You know, it's really amazing the way people want you to be. I come to a little city to visit called Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Look at it. It is one of the most beautiful cities within the United States of America. Sure, Chicago, like all cities, got its problems. But its architectural structure is just an immense measure of the imagination. I wish I could show you more, but it's just that at this moment, I'm behind a curtain in a hotel because I want to say a word or two to you. And I want you to get this image of this picture. And yet, when I move this curtain all the way, all you see is a reflection of the pictures on the wall in this hotel room. But I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, I want you to know that there are some crazy things going on. But at the same time, they merit discussion. <clears throat> what would you like to see done? in this country. And this knowledge of stuff that people are saying about it. And yet, the only thing I think of is a way to make things beautiful. You know, I understand that um, life is what it is. I understand that we really have been so deceived that we are about as lost as lost is lost. And when I say that, I mean we don't understand what's going on. We don't understand the situation we find ourselves in. And as a product of that, we find ourselves being manipulated, controlled, and really abused in every way possible. And yet there is an answer. There is a solution. That problem is the understanding that there is something more that's missing, really, because that doesn't work for you. It's absent. Everything works to a major degree or somewhat against you. And that means it's not for you. And if it's not for you, it does not supposed to exist. We've been educated to blame ourselves. But the truth of the matter is we allow problems to happen because there are those that benefit within the system being designed in such a way that it can protect those that who are being protected. Well, and they put off the front that they're trying to protect the system and protect you by putting up rules and regulations that others who violate will be punished while they themselves get away. But it is sufficient enough to keep most people from doing it, and yet the prisons are overflowing with that. Those who know the truth will recognize that punishment doesn't stop anything. Punishment comes after the fact. Punishment comes after the cancer has grown. Punishment comes after the cancer has taken over. But if you're dealing with the truth, the truth will show you how to prevent the cancer. And this is what we're talking about in society where people suffer, a society where people have to go through all these different changes. The way to fix it is to correct it, not try to punish, not trying to put blame on this one or put blame on that one, but to fix the problem. And how do you fix the problem? By turning to the problem solver. What is that? That's the mind. That is the desire of the heart. That is the pureness of your love to fix it problem. And that is to make sure that those things that are doesn't work for you, assume that they won't work for everybody else. And those things that will work for you, assume that they will work for everybody else. And so you look at others as you would have others look at you. And you recognize that all things that uh, exist on this earth come from a power that has nothing to do with you and I, except that uh, it is a natural thing, it's a natural fruition of the earth that has been made available for us to utilize and fulfilling the great needs of our imagination so that those things that we imagine now exist in f food and services and that in a, in such an abundance that none of us have to suffer like thereof. And that being the case, we don't have to be ashamed of, of our teaching and those who would lie to have their way, those who would believe in alternative truths to have their way, those that would cheat to have their way, those who would hate guns and go out and hate and kill people to have their way, those who just so evil is absolutely pathetic to have their way. Remember this, they weren't born that way. They were taught that way. They were trained that way. And so that which we call the worst of our society is a reflection of the worst of we the people. 
And there's no way to, for us to just sit back and try to condemn that as being such a this or such a that. The reality of it is, is though those things have been taught, they were built on some realities that were associated with it. And now for us to try to say we're concerned, really concerned, we remove all of those realities and make sure that that which is good for the gander is good for the goose. Nobody's suffering from anything, not you, not me, or any one of us, because we utilize our resources to make sure, not just the resources of, that God has given us, but that also of our minds, that make sure that everybody's protected. Everybody. Even those who hate us right now. Black folks, when you are hated, if you dealing with truth, you hate it because they people talk to hate you. Now, some black people talk to hate back, but that's not a problem solver. The solving of the problem is to knowing what's causing both ones to hate, and not only that, get rid of that, making sure that the white and the blacks are smiling. Make sure that the white and black, they don't have to live together if you don't want to, but that doesn't mean they hate each other. That don't mean that they can't stand each other because many of them do live together. And it's nice to live, if you want to be a bouquet of flowers, that is fantastic. But if you want to be just known as a lily, then you hang out there in the field with the lilies. If you want to be known as a rose, then you hang out there in the thing with the rose. But if you want to be a bouquet, you're welcome. Bouquet, shine, baby, shine. And then roses. In your uniqueness out there, shine. Hey, Lilies out there, your uniqueness shine. Everybody loves you. Hey, yes, and everybody wants to be a part of you. So come on if you want to with the bouquet. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take a moment to just end with this. I want to really say that when I come to Chicago, Chicago is one of the most beautiful cities that I've ever gone to. And what I really want to see happen to Chicago is I want Chicago to become more beautiful. I want no more buildings built in Chicago. No more buildings. If there's some building to be done, take it down south. Take it to those small towns that used to be vibrant, but now just die. Go down there and do something like that. My envision, I envision, my friends, that everybody could go to work. At least three-fourths of our society is constantly working. If you are taking care of your children, that's a job. We call that working. If you're cleaning up your house, that's a job. We call that working. Anything that you do to facilitate the uniqueness and the beauty of this living is a job, but we want you to choose that which gives you your greatest joy. And by doing that, you will be entitled and have access to out of everything that exists. You will have from it what you want, what you need or what you desire. This is the gift of love. This is the gift of compassion. This is the gift of God, because only God can love you like that. But it's going to take you to agree with God to make it happen. Till next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now.